What is up there, beautiful people? And welcome to another edition of Just Trending News. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell so you're always notified when I upload new videos. So today we're speaking everything that's related to uh, Tabo Besta and Dr. Nandipa as it's being alleged that the two are actually on the run together. If you don't really know the full story between uh, Dr. Nandipa and the Tabo Besta case, I did a video on it, I believe it was two weeks ago. But also let me just quickly bring you up to speed. Speed. So Tabo Bessa is a convicted serial rapist and a murderer. He used Facebook uh, to lure women and to rape and kill them, which is why he is being dubbed uh, the Facebook rapist. Dr. Nandipa is a woman who has been in a romantic relationship uh, with Tabo Bessa. And it's also being alleged that the two or the pair actually had um, two children together. Obviously, nobody really knows what's really happening with the story as, um, you know, Tabo Besta and Dr. Nandipa are nowhere to be found. The plot twist in this entire story is that um, Tabo Besta uh, actually escaped from prison. So last day it was reported that Tabo Besta died in prison. Um, it was stated that, um, you know, he basically um, passed away in prison. But recently uh, it has been uncovered that he did not actually pass away in prison as the body that was found in his cell was not actually his cell, but it belonged to another inmate after um, I believe some investigations were done. Uh, there was a big hoo-ha about this in the media and just a lot of people questioning um, how this could have happened and you know whether there was um, some authorities that were involved in this elaborate escape that um, you know, uh, Tabo Besta did. Um, a lot of people have actually said, you know, or alleged that they have cited him in public. I believe there was a, a picture that was released of a man that looked uh, that looked exactly like Tabo Besta. Obviously, he was in disguise and these pictures came out after his alleged death. Um, I think at this point, it's very safe to conclude that Tabo Besta is not dead, but he is alive. That's basically the narrative that's going around on social media and also in the media and the news outlets and um, they're both actually nowhere to be found by both. I'm referring to Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Besta. They are on the run. I don't know if both of them are being called uh, fugitives at the moment but obviously, um, you know, Tabo Besta is a fugitive. He's supposed to be in prison but, you know, um, we think that he planned this elaborate prison escape and he's actually been gallivanting um, you know, in, in public and amongst us for I don't know how much time. But, uh, Dr. Nandipa is also being alleged to be on the run with him. She's nowhere to be found. I believe her family also don't, doesn't know where she currently is at the moment. And all of this is just crazy because there was a story about their domestic worker that just went missing and, um, you know, no one could find anything, a body, no one could find her whereabouts. Uh, so this domestic worker, people are assuming that she was killed uh, by Tabo Besta and Dr. Nandipa. Obviously, these are all speculations, but this is what people are assuming on social media. And People are just saying how crazy the story is because uh, there's been recent development on news and a video that I'm going to insert in this um in this video, a clip that I'm going to insert in this video, um, where all Dr. Nandipa is speaking about a 1.3 million rand car, and it's just um, recently been uncovered that that car was actually left at the border of Zimbabwe, so um, it's, people are assuming that Dr. Nandipa obviously drove it to the border of Zimbabwe and then abandoned this car, and honestly this is literally just crazy because a lot of people are like, when did we get here as South Africa? There's been a lot happening to us as South Africa, or you know, as South Africans lately, and it's honestly just like you know scary this is honestly just like the plot of a very uh, scary horror movie um for me my opinion is um, i'm honestly just shocked you know there's not much that happens in south africa that shocks me these days but this has definitely um made my jaw drop honestly for dr nandipa to be on the run to risk everything that she's built she is a medical doctor she spent a minimum of seven years i believe um you know getting her qualifications then she had to be an intern and then then she started her brand and her career because she's quite popular on social media. So for her to risk all of these things for a man, and this man being a convicted criminal rapist and um, you know serial uh, murderer, is absolutely just you know mind-boggling. It's crazy to me, and I think that you know 
obviously it not to the same degree but it's it, it just shows how much as women we're able to do certain things in the name of love or for the men that we love honestly she's a smart woman obviously she's a medical doctor um she's not acting like a smart woman right now to risk everything as i've said for this man who's a convicted criminal who could you know kill her as well is just honestly so sad um to see that she doesn't really have much reasoning capacity at this point and to go on the run with this man is just crazy but like hopefully our south african police services are going to be um are going to be able to track these people down but honestly i don't have much faith in that we're still waiting for the senzo meiwa case to be resolved we're still waiting for the aka case to be resolved and many others but i just wanted to quickly give you an update and bring you up to speed tell me what you think in the comment section my darlings and i'll see you in my next upload goodbye lovelies <laughs> No one's fighting over the previous price. I said you paid 600 or 650. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. There's still a balance of 700 outstanding. Mm. How are we going to get that 700? So, what they're willing to do is drop the case against you. Mm -hmm. Devin doesn't want to lay. There is the case. Mm -hmm. But Devin, Devin said we can do this amicably. All he wants is his money. Um, and then. I'll give you everything. We'll, we'll, oh, you'll, you'll yes, we'll, this, we'll, oh, this yeah. is your copy. So what, you will, what we're willing to do is we'll go fetch the car um, from the border. We can't get the car. I'll be honest with you, we're basing to get the car. It's a big so mission. Devin just, Devin just wants his money. He wants the 700, which is fair, ma'am. You know, he helped you. He trusted you. And uh, you went back on your word. Uh, you haven't paid him in full. So you just need to put him the outstanding 700,000 and you'll leave it. Otherwise, he's, he, he wants to go to extend of putting everything over social media. You don't want that kind of thing, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't want bad exposure for yourself, for your business. It's just sort it out of make it you well, pay the man and let's move on. Can we come to an agreement? Well, we need to come to an agreement. Yeah, exactly, yeah. not what we want to. I'll speak to the person Devin had an agreement with, and then I will let you know. Who is that person? It's the person he had an agreement with.